So welcome inside. Uh, as you can see there, both cabin seats do swivel. Uh, they don't form part of the bed. Uh, I'll show you how the bed works later on in this video. These are your two rear traveling seats. Crash tested seats, both fitted with three point seat belts so you can carry four people. And these do form part of the bed. You basically sleep transversely. So you sleep across ways, but again, uh, I'll show you later in the video uh, the bed made up for you. So we pop inside. Won't spend too much time on the dashboard there. Standard Citroen relay layout. Uh, it does have cab air conditioning. Uh, a six-speed manual gearbox, uh, 130 brake horsepower. Customers had a reversing uh, camera fitted to the vehicle, so that's the monitor for the rear camera. And as I say, these are your rear travelling seats. Customer obviously upgraded the interior from a standard cloth to, uh, it looks like a man-made um, leatherette material. Very durable. Obviously, bear in mind the vehicle is five years old. It uh, doesn't show many uh, signs of wear and tear on those seats. It's actually quite a nice colour combination. So going back to the driver's seat and your passenger seat. There is a table that also mounts in these holes here. So this becomes your entertaining and your dining area. I'd say for a five metre vehicle, it's uh, very compact, uh, but spacious inside. This is your roof bed. Pulls out on the struts there mattress the infiller and I say that will sleep another another two people up there uh, into the kitchen full oven and a three ring gas hob kitchen sink that's supplied with uh, hot and cold water uh, from the uh, boiler system that's fitted the standard. Some little lockers and cupboards just above the kitchen area and then towards the back. Very unusual for a five metre van. Uh, full bathroom. So we have a shower, cassette toilet and then fold down. Wash basin there. Another little locker cupboard here. That's got the uh, the carpet mats uh, folded away in there. And then this cushion that's mounted against the side wall there, that forms part of the front bed. So I'll pause here, get the bed made up and reconvene.